picking it up. You know, at this level, like I said, it, as a team, you could be having a bad game. But if you have individuals who can grab the game by the scope of the net, they always find a way. And that's what happened to my team today. You have players like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't watch what you're saying there, but there's, there's something I've, I've mentioned a few times. I think nobody is picking it up. You know, at this level, like I said, it, as a team, you could be having a bad game. But if you have individuals who can grab the game by the scope of the neck, they always find a way. And that's what, what happened to Madrid today. You have players like uh, Vincent Junior and uh, 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 Rodrigo. They rescued the uh, Real Madrid today. Madrid was a little bit awful as a team. So, do, 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 are you guys worried about that? Arsenal is a team that that wins as a team. Do you think lack of some key, you know, like today, Jesus showed that. He showed that, but he's not consistent with it, as, as we know. Jesus made sure Arsenal came back into this game. <laughs> by the way, he walked when he came in, and that goal, he almost made that goal by himself. The typical yeah. Jesus that we know, or the way Arsenal usually plays, he wouldn't do that thing that he did. They would have passed, passed, and tried to create a chance. Then somebody takes a shot. You know. So are you guys worried that at this level, Arsenal mm -hmm. could lose out because they don't have you know, if Sorry. Like, I, 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 I don't I don't think so. By end today, I don't Ari Kane, you said did nothing, but he did a lot to put put off Gabriel and Saliba. Yes, Sunday. He, he did not do anything. He I'm anything, sorry, but but he was he was causing small small issues for that defense, you know. No, I, 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 to be honest, to it. be honest, go ahead, Chama. Harry, but he did nothing. That was not even a Harry Kane, Harry Kane classic football moment. <laughs> they had to show him some mercy by allowing him play the. <laughs> just his little crown on his head yeah. this was nowhere seeing him in Tottenham yeah wonderful player whatever he does when first touches at Christine but he had nothing to show today and of yeah. course I told Harry Harry from all those pity moments with the free kick <clears throat> and the PK he was bought, yeah, fine. He was trying the defenders, but they bottled him as usual. So I didn't. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but is that so? Uh, another very key element in this game today, as we have seen a lot of times, I don't think that referee was uh, was was at it. Yeah, there were so many calls. That I'm not talking about the penalty now, but there are some because I, I, I've I, I've done some things with football at grassroots level. That's what you see. Referees can stylishly, you know, put you off with some kinds of calls here and there. Are you, are you guys okay with the officiating? I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't have a problem. Yeah, with I, I honestly me. thought this this referee was very um, fair per se. Mm -hmm. The only mistake I think he made, which was probably the biggest mistake was not going to VAR for the penalty. I mean, if you're thinking about what a penalty is nowadays, Saka was 100% looking for that contact. Okay, mm -hmm. we don't we don't have to dispute that. But I I was I was having discussion and I was thinking about Anthony Gordon at West Ham when he put his foot he wrapped his foot literally around Calvin Phillips's uh, trajectory of shooting. Mm -hmm. just to get that contact if we're comparing the two those are the exact same thing so for the referee to not even consult var i think that was uh, that was the only bad decision he made and it was the worst decision he could have made because if we're like i said if we're looking back on on that setting that precedent with refereeing nowadays everything is even with penalties everything is so 50 50 yeah. and one game somebody could give a penalty for something that another referee it's wanted. subjective. So, exactly. But I, I also do think Saka should have tried to take his chance and yeah. not, uh, exactly. had to rely exactly. on the penalty. Yeah, if I were yeah. him, because there was nobody behind the 
once his name Noah, just get that ball past him, the rest will be history. Just uh, you know, yeah, chance. Yeah, he had he had an open once he changed the direction of that ball, he had an open goal. So right? yeah. he changed yeah. the direction of I, that ball, he had an open goal. I, I, I disagree. Watch the foul. He was fouled on the foot that he was supposed to plant on the floor to be able to score the goal. Okay, he, he moves the ball with his left leg. The right leg is supposed to come down. You plant it, and then you score. How was he going to score that goal when he was tripped on the leg that was supposed to stand and score? He was looking for it. Go he was looking for it. That's the thing. That's the thing. So, so, uh, I don't understand this theory of looking for it, for goodness sakes, right? He has moved the ball. What do you mean by looking for it? No, yeah, so it's easier for him to. What I, what I, what I, what I say, right, is again, I, I wish they gave the penalty, but yeah. I'm talking about real time, right? What I mm. saw, I was yeah. so disappointed when I saw it when when he didn't blow it. But then again, in my head, I'm like, Saka, Saka, hundred percent was looking who was he went. But he was looking for that contact. The ref anticipated it. And he started thinking in his head, that was not enough. And again, again, yeah. I just feel like I don't want to I don't want to I don't want to be that fine so, that one that one, so, I want to make a, a whole issue around it. Yeah, but honestly, yeah. I think Saka should have stayed on his feet and done something. hundred percent so, so, I think again, I, I again, think I, I don't I think he had to stay on the feet to still on the foot that was I, I, uh, uh, Can, can but, you guys I know, if you, Name me what's the same uh, uh, name, me, name me. I would, I would rather even take Thomas view as neutral than like yours. You are never neutral on anything. <laughs> I'm a neutral. I'm a neutral fan. Uh, we'll you are never neutral on anything. I would rather take Thomas' view. But, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> but um, you know, one thing I'll say is I'm a little bit disappointed that we have uh, a referee in the house. You know, and if this is how Ugu officiates his games, I would have to tell the Houston referee board to maybe look into his license yeah, because yeah. there's a difference between a referee that has played the game and one that hasn't. I played the game and I know that you're supposed to plant your foot. On the floor well, well, to be able to well, score well, a goal. It was it was clear that he was anticipating and he was looking for that because a goalkeeper, Mia did the natural thing to do, make yourself big. And no, big, no, no, yeah. no, 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 he planted, his, he planted his leg. For me, for so, me, so, I think so, Saka made it. Saka, Saka was clearly looking for that contact. And Nuya is experienced. If Nuya had moved his body one on, on the right hand side or left hand side, yes, that would have gone. Nuya made himself big. As a goalkeeper should do in that one-on-one -on -one situation, Saka anticipated movement and he put his leg in there. It was it was an anticipation. So I don't see yeah. how you will how yeah. you will in all good conscience. In all good conscience, yeah. that was that yeah, was mine, uh, mine, mine was that Saka should have taken that chance once. He, for me, I would, yeah, I would try to dribble. To, 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 the, 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 the way I see it, is, I, I, it was, I agree with that. I agree with that one. But he has tried to dribble the goal to back. Yeah. Now, 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 my own premise is that he has already moved the ball to dribble the goalkeeper. Mm -hmm. And then the, the corresponding action after that will be to plant his right foot and score with his left. He used the left for the dribble. He's going to watch the game with this mindset. Yeah. But I agree, yes, that he shouldn't have probably tried to dribble. He should have taken that shot one time. Yes. Yes, I agree with that. But since he's already tried to dribble, the next action would have been to, at least, uh, he, he, there's no way he can, with the same leg he used to dribble, without planting the other leg, how are you going to score? I mean, I, I, mean I understand that, but the way I see it is, and I think this might have been going through the ref's head, is that it wasn't a battle for who's going to get to the ball first. Saka already had the ball in his possession. So at, at mm. that point, I think in the referee's head, it, it's not a, a battle of, oh, okay, Saka beat him to the ball, Noir uh, conceded the contact. That's how went to the ball. He 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 okay. went exactly. He had the opportunity, in my opinion. You know, typical mm -hmm. Saka Saka that isn't thinking about the pressure of this game. I think he would have shifted again, dribbled, and then try to slot it in. Like he knew in that moment, okay, maybe there's a chance if I try to shoot this. Noir is right here. He's making himself big. Maybe there's not mm. the, the opportunity to score is it, it, kind of shut down. It's you gone. know, Noy is right in front of him per se. So I think at that moment, Saka was like, okay, 
I, I have the front foot. I'm faster than him. Let me see if I can kind of try to engage that contact and look for it. And I think if it was a battle, like I said, of who's getting to the ball first, the referee would have given the penalty. But Saka already had the ball. It wasn't, Neuer wasn't yeah, yeah, trying I, I to think, get the I ball. I think that touch too, he made it, he wasn't 100% in control of the ball anymore. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He felt that, mm -hmm. that he, mm -hmm. he's not going to get the, the chance. Yeah, the anyway, it is gone now. And for me, I even feel Arsenal not winning today could just be a, a good result for them. Now, according to what we used to say in the past, there's clarity what you need to do. Make sure you don't yeah. to hit them. Because if you if you go there yeah. with a one-goal lead, you don't know if you're going to defend. Complacency. Or, you know, so now it's still open. What I, what I saw today is Bayern is a team with pedigree in Champions League with players that played in, at this level. But Arsenal is a better team than Bayern. Yes. I don't think we're going to see anything far different from what we saw from Bayern today. This has been Bayern mm -hmm. all season. So and Arsenal, they're, they're gonna they're gonna be a lot they're gonna be a lot weaker on that day simply defensive. because Alfonso Davis is not gonna play that game. Okay, exactly. Yeah, Alfonso Davis and Alfonso Davis did a very good job on Saka today. Even though they considered two goals, he did a very mm -hmm. good job on Saka because number one, Alfonso Davis is one of the fastest players out there. And he, yeah. he did, and even yeah. going forward, he, he, going he, he forward, yeah, he's he's, he's he's a huge he's gonna be a huge miss. Except they can come up with some kind of is, is he going um, have a yellow card? Yeah, he has. He, he got he got his uh, okay. yellow today. Um, so okay. the thing it, 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 it's going to be a huge miss for Bayern because at that point you have to find another person to handle Saka, right? Which I don't know that Bayern might. I don't know who they're going to mm -hmm. bring out of the who they're going to pull out to do that work. But Alfonso Davis was the perfect answer for Saka today. Saka, yeah, yeah. Saka, yeah, Saka yeah, can yeah. Really, he, he, he can move the ball. He's far, he, he's, he's he's good on his feet. But I you need a defense. defender like. Like Alfonso Davis to kind of neutralize him, so him not being in that game is a huge plus for someone like Saka. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I just said that. Let me ask you guys. I don't know if you are still there. Another problem that's not going to have the dilemma of the midfield combination. You said something about Jojiho, which I see kind of agreeing to an extent. Jojiho was a little bit leggy in that midfield today. Who, who who do you go with? Because I saw a Bayern that all season, including today, behind that midfield, they are weak. You know you have Dyer, their positioning is wrong. They don't he doesn't know where to stay. Bayern doesn't have any anything defensively in the midfield. I don't think they are well organized. So how do you go? Do you go and rise a uh, Kaivas Odegaard be ambitious, try to win the game, or Pate? Today, what I saw, I don't know if what he's going to do before that game, or do you go with a party that can rise assurance and all the guys in front of them, then unleash the, the three front players? Ugum, what would be your thought? First of all, um, I want to really, really, really quickly, I just want to go back on the point about uh, Davies. I think he actually didn't do a good job against Saka. He had a lot of help from Gnabry um, tracking back. Um, because he, he was definitely left in the dust. I mean, there's a reason why he got a yellow card and, um, he's way more offensive minded than he is defensive minded. So he kind of has that same, um, downfall as Zinchenko, maybe not, <laughs> um, drifting into midfield, but he tends to really play up the wing. And we saw, we saw Byron get exposed, but, um, going back to the, the question you just asked, I think we should still start the game with Kai Havertz. I think. Um, just looking at the impact Jesus and Trossard had off the bench, I think that just adds, like uh, Omezi was saying, a level of chaos, you know? Uh, Jesus just kind of being, like I said, he, he learned his trade in the favelas. So he, he's going to twinkle toe his way throughout the box. Um, he may not finish, but if he can produce that final pass um, to, to anyone besides himself, I think they're able to get it in. And... Trossard, I mean, this dude, he he almost, like we said last week, it, he's like, oh, keep testing me, Arteta. Keep testing me. But I, I mm. it, it's weird because he really is a clutch player. Like you said, he, he doesn't have the same type of performance as he does when he starts the game. I mean, more than half of his goals have come off the bench. That's insane. No, the, the stat says that 
he is he has he has scored the highest goal in all across all five big leagues in Europe, coming in as a sub. Mm. Exactly. Yes. He's a super right. sub. He's a super yes. sub. Yes. But I think we should start. Um, I, I don't know, man. I I want to give Jorginho a chance because at the same time, you know, Partey he's not really too fit now, and should we risk it with putting Partey on and then him being out? I'll go with Jorginho too. Season? Yeah, I, I think, I, I genuinely think where we fell flat today was the left back position. If we can figure that out, and then also now we're coming into this game taking Byron extremely serious. We're not going to be flat footed like we were today. We're not going to have those lapses of concentration. We beat ourselves. Byron didn't beat us, in my opinion. We beat yeah. ourselves because so, we, so we who, were too what would, be a, what would be a combo considering left back? The, who will play with the Clarais and Jesus Kai Havertz up front or Martinelli? How are you going to do it to to have that defensive solidity and a center have enough questions for Bay uh, for Bayern going forward? I, I think, will start the same team. Uh, yeah. I was, was going to say the same thing. Mm -hmm. the same team. The same team. Only difference I will make is I bring in Jesus for Martinelli to start. I thought his I Jesus was incredible. With the way he um he set up that goal, um I I think that having watched him the other day play with with Harvest, the chemistry is still there. Jesus is a player that can play with almost every other person. Um, Martinelli can make quite an impact as a sub uh, coming in any time during the game because we know what he brings. He brings a lot of heat. Um, so. Uh, that's the only thing I the only change I'll make is to bring in Jesus. I like the new him right. Jesus will be your uh, option. Uh, you mean me? No, amazing. Um Hello? I agree. Oh. I agree. But I think we talked about we talked about um Jesus um the, uh, on the on the last episode, how we said um he defends from the front. Um and he, he's not afraid to track back. Right, Jesus is not afraid to track back and everything, and he does that very efficiently. Especially if we were to go with a player like Zinchenko or have Jesus in front of him for two reasons: Jesus's work rate um, on that side, even though he's not an eleven, is very, very. He he takes care of the ball better. Mm -hmm. Jesus takes care of the ball better. I don't think Martinelli can do that. So definitely, I'm drafting in Jesus in that position. Now for the left back, right back, uh, left back opposition, I still uh, that's a hard one. Tomiyasu for me. If you're not bringing in Tomiyasu, then if you're not bringing in Tomiyasu, then just keep it the same. I don't, I, I don't think Zinchenko should play that game. But again, I would say uh, definitely Jesus. Hey, Susan, give your. Okay, let me let me just say I will you will, you will come in for Bayern. For me, if you give me that option, the way what I think Arsenal need to do in terms of lineup to win this game is play Tomiyasu as a left back. Tomiyasu, Gabriel, Saliba, and Ben White. It gives you that assurance. I don't think Bayern Munich will do will have anything that these four guys cannot take care of. This now gives you the luxury of playing. Yeah. Playing the Jojiro in the midfield with the Clarice. And now tell Odegaard to try and stay a little bit off forward. Because Odegaard was 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 too deep in the beginning of the too first deep. half in this game. It wasn't until Zeko came in that he moved forward. Then I will play Gabriel Jesus, Kai Havertz, and uh Bukayo Saka up front. Now, what this does is, and this is what Ateta has done with this team. And I saw it today, Asna sets up. Trusting every player to win their duels. Arsenal trust the players to go one on one with players against opponents, and most of the time they win their duels. Today, I saw a Bayern Munich that Arsenal could go toe to toe with. The only thing is that you also have to have players who complement others. So if you if you do that, I trust Saka, Jesus, and Kaihavas to worry that Bayern defense. Mm -hmm. Trust them. So all you need to do is when I Go when ahead. I saw Odegaard as the last man to stop Sane, yeah. that at that moment I was like, "What is going on with Arsenal?" I mean, he 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 stopped 
Bayern from taking that game. I truly believe that. It would have been yes. 3-1. And, 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 and that is because of the, what I said about the Clarice. The Clarice, this was this is not one of his best games. The Clarice was all mm. over the place. Today, yeah. he, he didn't provide protection for that defense. And that's why we had that chaos. Odegaard was coming too deep, and he still has to press up forward and still create. In fact, I don't even know why I talked about Odegaard. Odegaard, for me, is just Mr. Arsenal right now. I don't mm -hmm. think Arsenal can do anything meaningful without that young Without, that, without Odegaard. Captain Fantastic. Yeah, he doesn't have off days. And uh, Nimi, so playing the devil's advocate, what does Bayern need to do, considering what they have done all season, to go ahead and you know, come through in this future? Your 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 mate. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Okay, I think Bayern has done everything that they need to do. Um, this was the game for Arsenal to take. If there was any game for them to take, this was the game to take. I think going into the Alliance Arena, uh, with all the eighty-five thousand fans in there cheering, it would be a difficult task. And I don't, you know, just looking at the team. And I, I don't, I, I want to see, I want to say in terms of character, I don't know. Because this Bayern team has done it before. Uh, let's not forget, three three years ago, they were champions of um, Europe. And they still have some remnants of, of that team. Um, I think in terms of, um, in terms of team, I was telling everybody talking about the team. In terms of the team, we all know, to me, what I think is going to happen is, I think I will go in there. He wouldn't go there to go toe to toe with Bayern first. He wouldn't go there to go throw punches with them. He would be a little bit conservative. Watch them, watch Thomas Tuchel play his hand. And if you watch the, the German Bundesliga, yes, Bayern have, has always won in terms of possession, but the way teams have always scored them has always been that counter attacking football. And they're playing at home. I think uh, when, uh, 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 Ateta would be conservative. In terms of personnel being used, I think uh, for this role, because Martinelli tracks back, I think in terms of, I think Kibo would start, he will go with Kibo. I think he will go, I think Martinelli will still be a player. I think the same team that played today would probably, in all likely ramifications, start um, in the return leg in, uh, in, in Berlin. Do you, say this, do, you say, do you say this because you think Martinelli will be better on the counter? Yes. I say that too. I say that because if you watch, Martinelli is quick. He has this more quicker than Trosser. Saka is given. Saka must start. So the only way we were looking at, Harvard must start because of the job he does, pressing and the kind of you know, habit that he plays. Oh, no, play. The only, the only, um, you will need Giorgino to calm the nerves down. The only place that I see where there's you know, maybe who's going to start is going to be on that left wing. And I think he will go with Martinelli because of the quick pace, quick um, break that he will need to catch Bayern with. Bayern will not be this susceptible when they play at the Alliance Arena. So it's going to be a different ball game. I'm looking forward to that game. I think uh, from the Bayern's perspective, I think 2-2, two -two, if you give Bayern coming into, you know, you tell them before the game starts, 2-2, two -two, they will hold that Hold that result and grab it based on their form they've had. They've been terrible this season, but their home form hasn't been that bad in the Bundesliga and even in the Champions League. So they will be counting on their home home advantage to to to, to kill that game up. So mm. I'm looking forward to that game, and I think in all in all, I think um, I will give Bayern. Um, the edge. Uh, 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 so yeah. yeah, guys. Yeah. From, 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 from a neutral, remember, from a neutral, <laughs> from a neutral fan <laughs> perspective. Okay, you guys, are a London I mean, rival. I mean, this one we can talk about this game all week, and uh, there'll be so much to extrapolate from it. Uh, I think we've done just to it so far. We as now, and uh, like I said earlier on, as a team, this group of players have not done this in a long time as a club Arsenal has not been here for the past 14 years 14 years yeah, so these players they have done noble they are content you know contending for the league title they are front runners right now and uh, the first let the champions quarter finals against heavyweight in europe Bayern Munich they are not out 
So I think uh, Atata and his boys can hold their heads high and uh, they have done themselves proud so far. And it's, it's interesting that we're also saying that Arsenal still has a chance to go through in this after the first leg. That's something that Atata needs to be proud of and the players as well. It's just for them to go back, do their whole work very well. The only player will be that uh, Aston Villa will be the worst Aston Villa we have seen so far this season. They have been off and on it and not give Arsenal too much pressure this weekend so that they will have fresh legs to to go again next week against Bayern and we'll see how that will pan out. And, 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 and sorry, All so I know is... To... Yeah, go ahead. No, I, I was just going to say, I know Arteta is calling Xavi Alonso right now and he's saying, brother, what do I need to do to overcome Bayern after Alia? <laughs> <laughs> you know, they have that La Masia connection. Yeah. I mean, I, I think Arsenal have the ability to go forward and beat Bayern. Today, they underestimated them. We know that. But if we saw the quality on the ball, it was still Arsenal dominating. And exactly. I think Bayern, Bayern got this false sense of stability. Like, okay, you know what? We're able to, to take the Contender. pressure. But I mean, we we just capitulated. I, I'm saying it. It's not because of Bayern that... We didn't win. It was because of ourselves. Oh, I mean, I, yeah. how, how can you play, I, how can you play man, against man, uh, Eric Dyer? Eric Dyer. Man, man. Eric Dyer. <laughs> Dyer, Dyer. <laughs> but let me tell you guys something. Um, Funny guy. I'm not, I'm not a prophet, but I would want you guys to go watch uh, four or five episodes ago uh, when we were doing the preview of this game. I'm not a prophet. I'm not, I don't usually bet. But I. this is where Bayern, this is what Bayern needs. And this is where they want to be. As a matter of fact, I just went to the Houston flea market. I'm, I'm looking for Ubu size on that bet we have for him to wear that Chelsea jersey. I can't wait for two more weeks to be back here. To, 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 to uh, I, I, like, I like this guy, man. You, you got bets. <laughs> okay, guys. I, I uh, got that. Okay, guys. The, 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 well, uh, for me, not because I'm an Arsenal fan, I don't see how Bayern is going to get away from this one. What happened today was just uh, one of those days. Bayern didn't show enough personality in the or experience that they have in Champions League today. They didn't show it at all, and they were there for the taking for us now. Mm-hmm. If they in any way play close to what we saw today in Arasa, and Arsenal will take them yeah. to the us. I guarantee you that one. Saka for me still doesn't look very fit. If I were Ateta, I probably would not play him this weekend. And let him get it, get get some more rest and be ready for for the second leg. You know, guys, so we call it a, a, a day on this one today. Thank you for, you know, your busy schedule stopping by on the, on the studio to do justice today. So we'll see what happens uh, next week and who goes through to the next one. Tomorrow will be uh, PSD Barcelona and, of course, uh, Atletico Madrid will be playing against Dortmund. We'll see how that will pan out. I'll come back here as well to look at how that one went. Thank you guys and uh, ciao, Ugum. A safe flight coming back to the United States. Thank you for spending some time with us today, and we will see you sometime this week. Bye, guys, and see you guys later. Bye, bye. Ugum, I got you.